Section 8.2, Combinations. Unlike the previous section, what if we don't care about the order in which we pick things to be placed? We can use combinations. And I've got a little list here of the things that are different between combinations and permutations. Specifically, permutation order matters and combinations orders do not. Some clue words for permutations. So things that we did um, things that we did in the last section, arrangement, schedule, order. Um, some combinations where order might not matter, groups, committees, set sample, etc. So the only difference between using a combination instead of a permutation is that uh, the first part of the formula is just like the formula from last time, except we're adding on one little piece here. So how many committees of three people can be formed from a group of eight? So this time, instead of using P, we're going to use C. I have eight people. I want to choose three of them. So order doesn't matter. So using our formula, we'll have eight factorial on the top divided by eight minus three factorial on the bottom times 3 factorial, which is the same as 8 factorial over 5 factorial times 3 factorial. So 8 factorial is the same as 8 times 7 times 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, uh, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1. So again, we can cancel out those that are the same. Notice that the part I just highlighted is 5 factorial as well as this is 5 factorial. So I could have stopped at 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial and just crossed off what they had in common. Also, 3 times 2 is the same as 6, so we can cancel that out as well to make multiplying a little easier. So 8 times 7 divided by 1 is 56. So there are 56 ways that we can form... Um, a committee of three people um, out of a group of eight. How many committees of four people can be formed from a group of ten? So I have ten people and I want to choose four to create a, a committee, so order doesn't matter. So I'll have ten factorial over ten minus four factorial times four factorial. This is the same as 10 factorial over 6 factorial times 4 factorial. So 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, all divided by 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So let's cancel out those things that we can help us here we've got 6 factorial that we can get rid of. Um, 4 times 2 is 8. That will help. So multiplying 10 times 9 times 7 and dividing by 3 will give us 210 ways that we could arrange these people or form this committee. Three lawyers are to be selected from a group of 30 to work on a special project. How many different ways can the lawyers be selected? So we have 30, we want to choose three of those. So 30 factorial over 30 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So I know that 30 minus 3 is 27 factorial. So I'm going to stop at 30 times 29, times 28, times 27, and we would keep going after 27, and then I took 3 factorial, which is just 3 times 2 times 1, because 27 factorial and 27 factorial are the same thing, I don't need to write it all out to save ourselves some, some time. Um, but I do know that 30 times 29 times 28 is equivalent to, if I multiply, 24,000, 360, and if I divide that by 6, there are 40, 60 ways 
of choosing um, three out of the 30. But let's say I want to choose, uh, find a group of three to be selected if a certain lawyer must work on the project. So let's say I have a certain lawyer, so I only have 29 people to choose from, and since one of those 20, uh, one of those three spots is only f already filled, I only need to worry about filling two more with the last 29 lawyers. How many different combinations do we have? Well, this is equivalent to 29 factorial over 29 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Uh, 29 minus 2 is 27 factorial. Um, so I will stop at 29 times 28 times 27 factorial. Again, like the previous example, since they're the same, they can cancel out. So now all I have left is 29 times 28, which is 812, divided by 2, which is 406. So I have 406 options if I already know specifically which lawyer is already working. So we still have the 30, 30 groups here. In how many ways can a non-empty group of at most three lawyers be selected from these 30? So if I have at most, I need to can take into consideration what if I had, um, I need 30 lawyers and I need to choose one of them? And what if I had 30 lawyers and I needed to choose two of them? And then I need, had 30 lawyers and I needed to choose three. So whatever the options are for each one of those, we want to add our results together because we have to take in consideration since it's a inequality. Um, it could be one, it could be two, it could be three. So how many choices would we have? Um, in either case. So we need to choose, um, I have 30, I want to choose 1, so 30 factorial over 30 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial. That's equivalent to, um, 30 minus 1 is 29 factorial times 1, essentially 1 factorial is 1. So then I just need 30 times 29 factorial. Um, I wouldn't need to go any further since 29 and 29 cancel, and I'd be left with 30 divided by 1, which is 30. So I need to keep this in mind because we're going to come back to that number. I also need to do 30 choose 2. So 30 choose 2 lawyers. Um, so 30 factorial over 30 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial. That's the same as 28 factorial on the bottom times 2 times 1. So on my numerator, I just need 30 times 29 times 28 factorial. I could stop seeing that the 28 factorials could cancel. Then I'd be left with uh, 30 times 29 divided by 2, which is 435. So I need to keep this in mind. We already did on the previous page, we found um, 30 lawyers choose 3, which gave us uh, 4,060 uh, 4, ways. So now I need to add all of these together. And when I add all of these together, we have a total of 4,525 ways that we could have, at most, three lawyers. In how many ways, okay, so a salesman has 10 accounts in a certain city. In how many ways can he select three of these to call on? So I have 10 accounts. I want to choose three of those accounts to call. So. 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. 10 minus 3 is 7 factorial, and then 3 times 2 times 1. So when I start writing, I can stop at 7 factorial so that I can get rid of some without writing a whole bunch. Then I'd be left with 10 
times 9 times 8 divided by 6, which is 120. So there are 120 different ways that he could call three accounts to call on. And how many ways can he select at least 8 of the 10 accounts? So at least 8, so again we have to take in consideration 8 accounts, 9 accounts, and 10 accounts. So I want to talk about uh, 10 accounts, choose 8. So 10 factorial over 10 minus 8, 8 factorial. So this is the same as 10 times 9 times 8 factorial over, uh, well, 10 minus 8 is 2, so 2 times 1 times 8 factorial. Um, I already had the 8 factorial down here, so I just didn't rewrite it. But anyways, I'd have 10 times 9, which is 45. Excuse me, 10 times 9, which is 90, divided by 2, which is 45. So again, we have to come back to that. We need to look at, uh, I have 10 accounts. What if I choose 9 of them? So 10 factorial over 10 minus 9 factorial, 9 factorial is equivalent to 10 times 9 factorial over 1 factorial, 9 factorial. So our 9 factorials would cancel. Uh, 1 factorial is just by 1 by itself, so 10 divided by 1 is 10. So I have to keep this one in mind. And then finally, um, it says at least 8, so I did 8, 9. I have 10 accounts. I want to choose 10 of them. So 10 factorial over 10 minus 10 factorial, 10 factorial. Um, 10 factorial. How about this? Let's do this. These would already cancel since they're already the same. And 10 minus 10 is 0 factorial, and we said that 0 factorial is equivalent to 1. So I have 45 plus 10 plus 1. So we have a total of 56 ways that we could call on at least 8 of the 10 accounts. So let's decide whether permutations or combinations should be used to solve the problem. How many four-digit code numbers are possible if no digits are repeated? Since no digits are repeated, we have to know that order matters, so we would need to use a permutation. A sample of three light bulbs is randomly selected from a batch of 15. How many different possibilities uh, samples are possible? Since it's randomly selected, we don't care um, which bulbs that we choose since they're randomly, so we would just use combinations. In a baseball conference with eight teams, how many games must be played so that each team plays every other team exactly once? It doesn't say that we have to have a specific order with how many um, games, just that every team needs to play each team once. So we could use combinations here. In how many ways can four patients be assigned to six different hospital rooms so that each patient has a private room? So since we're looking for assignment, we are curious about order, so we would use permutation. A manager selects four employees for promotion. Twelve, uh, Twelve employees are eligible. How many ways can the four be chosen? Since we don't care which four they are, just as they must select four of them, we can use combinations. So a combination, I have 12 employees. I need to choose four of them. So 12 factorial over 12 minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. Uh, 12 minus 4 is 8 factorial, uh, times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, over 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. So we can cancel some stuff out, the 8 factorials. And if we were to multiply uh, 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 and divide that by uh, 4 times 3 times 2, we would end up with 495 
different ways that we could choose for employees um, for the job. And how many ways can four employees be chosen from 12 to be placed? So, so we forgot the L. Uh, since we're being placed in four different jobs, we need to arrange them in different jobs. So therefore, we need permutations. So 12 um, and 4. Remember our formula. We have the first number on top, and then just simply 12 minus 4 uh, factorial on the bottom. So 12 factorial over 8 factorial, which is the same as 12 times 10 times... 9 times 8 factorial over 8 factorial. Using our trick, we can still cancel them out. So then the remaining is 12 times 10 times 9, which is 11,880 ways that we could not only select those four, but then place them into different jobs. And this concludes section 8.2, Combinations.